Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. And this video, I've got three replays for you in the tier eight American premium medium tank, the AMBT. So the AMBT has, well, was recently um, on a uh, contract grind. Um, and it ran for probably about a month and a half, two months, I think. Uh, and in that time, you know, you could complete various stages and after stage eight, you would get this tank. Um, obviously equipment and perks, by the way, are popped up on the right hand screen there for you. Um, so you get a sense of what I run on this tank. Um, just obviously to note, I would probably take that rapid aim perk off and I would replace it with trap mechanic. I would say is probably the best perk to put on that. Um, you know, the, the, the crew I've got on this is from, you know, a tank I've used and again I haven't, just, you know, haven't really spec'd it um, which I probably should uh, so yeah anyway back to the tank so you you have the chance to grind this tank out um, and that's what we've done here you know didn't have this tank previously so I thought I'd go for it um, I was yeah, I guess I was apprehensive really to see what this tank would be like. I didn't really know anything about it apart from it was an auto loader. Um, and you know, we should probably note that that feature it's very similar to the Italian line. If anybody has ground out the Italian medium line, um, or you know, the Italian line in general, all have guns, or uh, the majority of them have guns that act like this in the sense of. Uh, it's not it's it's not your typical auto loader. Um, it reloads each shell you know, uh, simultaneously, as opposed to a whole clip. You get a shell, and then another shell, and then another shell to make up your clip. So uh, that's probably the worst way of explaining it. But I hope it has explained it in full. Um, so yeah, and if I'm honest, yeah, I mean it's okay, but. Uh, it's obviously you, know, you don't have to wait a whole time for your clip, but uh, if I'm honest, the reload times are quite long um, on this. And the main thing really to um, remember on this is your last shell is your quickest reloading shell. So the best way to play this, I would say, in my opinion, is to just, you know, use the last shell. I know I'm probably not demonstrating that well here, however, the time where you want to really sort of use your full clip is tanks like we're just seeing there, that T29 that was, that was crossing uphill was a free shot to us. And that's the time where you use your full clip. Again, in my opinion, I think that's the best way. You know, when you've got the opportunity to get rid of tanks, get rid of them. It's a full health tank, get your one shot off and then pull back and let it reload because you know, that way you are increasing your, your, you're increasing your DPM to the max, the best you can. You know, so you see here, you've got this Tiger, we've put one shell in, we've put another in, and we can finish them off with the third shell, so we're going to do that, because we want to take guns out of the game. You know, I mean, we're on, mark, on Mountain Pass here in our first game, the first replay, you know, and you can see, yeah, numbers, we, we've got the winning numbers, but it's still quite close. Um, so, you know, the opportunity to take out a tank, we're going to do it. So, and that's what we've done. We've taken out the tank with three shells. That's all we need. Again, we we're on reload there. We had the one shell in, put in, but, you know, we wanted to take out the SU-130 because it's, it's a dangerous tank destroyer. We could have left it for our, um, for our friendly tank to clear up. But at that point, I was like, well, there's nothing else to shoot at. So, again, it's another opportunity where... You can get the shot off, and you've got nothing else to shoot at. You know, you can afford to spend that time because you're relocating to get a full clip off, and then do it. Uh, <laughs> here we've made a meal out of this because we're not fully reloaded, but we're lucky because we can finish that tank in two shells, which we do. I think you may have taken a shot from our medium across the way there, um, but we managed to finish off that IS3. But we did get punished by the tank destroyer that was down below there. Um, and now that all that's left is this last remaining tank, so I'm, you know, I don't think we're going to get there because I don't think I'm going to get down here um, like we previously could on Mountain Pass. You know, you could just slide off and it'd be fine. I didn't want to sort of really run the risk, so I just thought, you know what, GG. Um, 
and we leave it there. And he gets finished off by a friendly tiger anyway. So uh, yeah, we come out of that game, not a bad result. Um, and we finished uh, only second on the board, just behind the tiger A18, with just over 3.8k damage, with three kills, no assisted. We did block a, uh, a shot for 440 alpha. Um, only picked up second class, but we do pick up the high caliber there and getting the most amount of damage on the board so yeah not a bad result and uh, yeah hopefully that kind of gives you a sense of, of what this gun um, does what it's like how it works uh, and yeah so you know your full reload um, from scratch you know, your first shell is going to take about 14.8 seconds second shell about 13.5 your first shell about 11.4 um, after that when you get the shots off so if you're if you're running your food uh, at the time when you buy your first shell that will reload in about 7.4 seconds without food eight seconds roughly and um, the second shell will reload about 9.4 without food uh, it would be 10 seconds and your third shell with food would be 12.6 and without 13.2 second reload but you also got to bear in mind as well your interclip is three seconds so when you get that first shell off you pull back because if you hang yourself out for three seconds you know you keep over peaking or whatever you're gonna get shot so again something else to bear in mind when you get your first shot off pull back in I mean look if you want to hang yourself out and get all your, your clip off you can um, but bear in mind you're probably gonna trade one for it so if you, if you can do that trade comfortably then go for it if you can't get in safe I think just get in safe wherever you can because another thing as well the armor on this isn't that great and um, the turret has a little bit of armor I think from what I can remember uh, but again uh, it wouldn't be something I would fully rely on um, your hull armor is just it's non-existent basically you will just get penned on that the upper plate is quite angled so you may get the odd bounce um, you know sort of you know if you're sort of poking out at a bit of an angle someone shoots the upper plate chances are they will bounce on that but you know it's um Yes, just something to bear in mind. So again, when you, you're on that, that three second end clip, like we're doing here, we're just backing up and we just want to get the one shot off because we've got multiple tanks to focus here. Um, so again, we're just, we're just backing off and we're just letting that one shot reload and then we're going to poke and then we're going to get the shot off again. See this one shot to T34 or T33, whatever it is. Um, he's... Yeah, disappeared behind the rock. Unfortunately, he gets taken out, and we've just spent our last shell there. And we see it's a mill backing up. He's on reload, so do you know what we thought? We're just going to get our shots off here and go on full reload because we can get that guy down to a one shot. Hopefully, one of our team members will be able to take him out. Uh, however, no one's really shooting him, and we're losing a lot of tanks in the middle, so we've got to get this guy out fully. Um, someone puts him on a one shot, we take the shot, but now. <laughs> suddenly he's got back up with this third man and this heavy tank and it's at this point where i'm thinking maybe i should possibly have gone on full reload here um but that's what we're gonna do we're gonna let our friendly team just you know keep trying to take shots at this third man got his black prince down here as well we're just gonna go on full reload because these guys are full hit points i don't want to go in and just you know keep relying on my last shell um i think i get bored at this point uh, <laughs> The other thing is, the gun is trolly, and um, the accuracy is a bit trolly. Uh, so again, something else to bear in mind, when you sort of poke out, you have got to kind of let the gun aim in a little bit. Um, so yeah, now here we probably should, I don't know if, I think we may be letting the tank reload fully before we poke. We've got artillery looking at us, so we've got to be careful of that numbers here are quite even it's seven six so we are ahead by one tank but um you know now it's six all so it's a close game now you see we're nearly uh yeah we're just off reload there so we're gonna go in and we're gonna try and get shot onto the black prince you see what i mean about letting the gun aim in because you know we derp our first shot there which is not ideal we get a second shot in but then i decide you know pull back Try and get the best out of our DPM. Um, see the T28 there. Uh, again, you know why I'm sort of overhanging there. I mean, luckily he's not targeting us. 
and now we are going to make a bit of a faux pas at this point, I'll point out when we do, but uh, trying to see if we can get a shot on that Black Prince there, but that's not happening. Um, so yeah, we sort of pulled back and we're just sort of surveying our options there. We poke out here and we thought the T28 might not be looking at us and might be looking at the light tank that went to go after the Black Prince. Unfortunately, he was looking our way and we take a hit unnecessarily, which is, yeah, that's a that's a bad play really. Um, and we, yeah, we should have just not bothered uh, and start making our way around because, you know, my plan now is go around, try and help out his tank destroyer with that medium tank. He doesn't need it because he's just taking them out. But we want to get round and get behind that T28 because that T28 is going to be a problem. Front of the arm, that, you know, that tank is not going to get penned really by anything unless they've got, you know, good aim with some good, you know, premium rounds at high penetration. So I'm thinking that guy's going to be a bit of a roadblock. We do notice our light tank is starting to move in though. So he may potentially start getting shots into him, but I want to sort of get in a position where I can support or I can get shots in while the light tank is distracting the tank destroyer. Equally, I want to make sure we can keep our light tank in the game because he's going to be useful come uh, you know, come the end game, which we are sort of pretty much at. We, you know, it was five tanks each. It's a close game. Uh, unfortunately, Trailblazer takes out our batch at. And we've got the side of the tank destroyer here, the T28, but unfortunately we bounce, we get a shot in, but we put him on a one shot now. Um, um, we are getting fired at. It's now five versus three, and yeah, again, this is becoming a little bit of a perilous situation. The T28 does get taken out by a Panther, which is a bonus. Um, we've nearly fully read early our clip, um, we're going to come up to... Uh, no, I thought we were going to go into the middle there. Um, oh, I think we are. I'm not actually sure. <laughs> I can't remember what we did. Um, but we come into the middle uh, to support. Because you can see the light tank and the tank destroyer here. I think the heavy tank is in this area as well. So we've got all three tanks here. We're going to come up and create an angle. I'm going to try and take out this uh, trailblazer if I can. Get one shot in there. I'm going to get the other shot in. The tank destroyer gets, or should I say the medium tank then gets taken out. And all that's left is this Black Prince, uh, which we were trying to get shots on earlier. So uh, I'm going to wait. Our team are putting some shots in. I'm going to try and reload our third shell. However, he's now been put onto a one shot. So I'm thinking, do you know what? Let's just get the shot in and pick up the kill. Um, yeah, I didn't want to sort of waste time. Um, for the reload because he probably would have been taken out by then so um, just thought you know take the shot because we've got the time to go on a full reload now um, and while we hunt for artillery artillery has been lit up and nearly finished our reload there and yep we've get, got the first shell in can we sneak the second one in yes we can picking up our fourth kill of the game and there we go, and we pick up the win as well, so that was quite a well-earned win um, victory there. Come top of the board with 4 kills, 4.6k damage, um, only picking up 149, so there's not much there with 240 uh, damage blocked. Um, only picked up the first class, we got the high caliber medal low as well, um, and yeah, that was, a, that was just a nice close game to be fair, that could have gone either way. Um, but we've done a good job securing the win. Anyway, on to the third replay. And we're actually platooned up with Kingpin in this one. Um, Kingpin is playing his IS-2-2, I think, um, which is currently grinding through. Uh, and yeah, we've decided to go in the AMBT. And we're gonna sort of play the middle here. Now, one thing again to probably point out with the AMBT is it kind of relies a little bit on uh, a long, a long game as a sense. Yeah, that last game Fjords was was quite drawn out, and and the AMBT kind of plays to that because of its reload, how long the reload is, and yeah, how long each shell kind of takes. You, you kind of want that patient drawn out game, and this tank does require patience, by the way. This is not, I, I personally think this is a tank that you know, 
needs kind of a bit of a high skill cap, a good understanding of the game, good understanding of, you know, reload times, trading and that sort of stuff. So I wouldn't say this tank was, it definitely isn't for a new player, that's for sure. Um, so, you know, if you're kind of new to the game, um, I mean, this tank's not available now anyway, it's, you know, it's, it's done until it sort of next comes out on sale or in another contract in the future. But, you know, for, for a new player, I certainly wouldn't recommend this tank because um, it, it is a steep learning curve to how you know this reloading mechanic works and like I say it does need a lot of patience it does need um, a fair bit of skill um, and yeah it, you know I mean it's, it's it's a weird one to explain but um, yeah you, you, do, you just got to give it patience basically um, so we've come to the middle here and we decided to dump off all clip into that T69 there just his side on and I just sort of fancied the opportunity. We did bounce the second shell off the side of the uh, of, of that tank which is frustrating but um, yeah we've, we've dumped clip and now, and now we're sort of on reload here and we've got one clip, well we've got one shell in the clip shall I say. Uh, and now we're sort of paying attention to this right hand side we're reloading our third shell now so we will be able to poke out and see if we can get shots on any of these tanks see that tank destroy in front of us the ISU I get shot in bits of critical here and that's so frustrating I just decide you know what I'm just gonna dump the clip again might be able to take this tank out uh, however he goes on spotted and I did think about the blind fire but I thought nah do you know what I'll just I won't bother. Um, we should have waited a, a fraction of a second there. If we waited, we could have got our second shell in there. But um, unfortunately, again, we're talking about patience. Patience isn't something I hold as an attribute, unfortunately. Um, I wish it was because I probably would be a little bit of a, you know, a better player than, than what I am. Um, so, yeah. Unfortunately, I don't have that. So yeah, my patience got the better of me there. Um, but yeah, we're, we're reloading our last shell now, and we're just sort of taking the time. You know, the good thing about obviously the long reload times is it does give you plenty of time to observe, look at the map, you know, address the situation basically, and judge it accordingly. So you know, again, I've explained it before. Sometimes tanks that sort of do take quite a while to reload and stuff like that can actually sort of be a bit more um, of a good thing for your game because uh, like I say, it gives you that time to address the minimap whereas sometimes if you've got quick DPM you don't always pay attention and the next thing you're getting uh, absolutely um, you know, dropped by the enemy. So back to the gameplay and you know, we've managed to get some shots into this IS-3. We were getting shots onto that Panther but uh, the IS-3 just decided to steamroll. We've gone back for a full reload there. We've got three shells in the clip. I'm going to back out here because I know there's tanks behind me but I decided to just put the second shot in anyway and we pick up the kill which is our second kill of the game there. Um, and yeah now we're just sort of going back on full reload we see is full health is2-2 though so do you know what i'm just going to wait for the third shell to clip in uh, to third shell to clip in third shell to reload for the full clip um we've got this uh we've got a friendly heavy tank next to us now this guy is potentially i think um you know clippable but we decided do you know what i'm just going to get the one shell in i just want to get uh, on reload and then i'm going to poke out i'm going to make sure i can definitely kill this tank our friendly heavy tank unfortunately lost a shot but we just get two shots into this is2-2 to pick up our sec second yeah second kill of the game sorry i thought it was our third but uh, no that was our second kill so we're at 4.1k damage with two kills already um, we see the ISU 130 while we're reloading. I forgot that guy was there and I was just like, I'm no way am I waiting for my third shell to reload. I'm just going to get rid of that guy because I didn't want to take a hit off that guy. You know, that would have been a poor trade if I just waited for my shell to reload and he got a shot into me. Um, you know, 15 hit points of damage isn't worth, uh, you know, 400 or whatever alpha that, that gun gives. So, yeah, it just, just wasn't worth the big alpha shot for 15 hit points. We did chance it there uh, with our third shot while artillery was looking at us. You know, possibly 
Um, maybe we should have just sort of backed off just to avoid possibly getting hit, but we were lucky. He fell short, dirt the ground. Um, and yeah, unfortunately, the uh, you know, getting rid of our three shells there meant that uh, we couldn't actually get one into the second artillery because we were still on reload, which again, another frustrating part of the tank is the shots that present themselves are usually when you're on reload, and then when you're fully reloaded, there's nothing to shoot. Um, the frustrations of auto-loading tanks, unfortunately, but um, yeah, the uh, the second artillery gets absolutely blapped there by our uh, Super Sherman, and uh, yeah, the last tank gets taken out there, so all in all, we were just shy of 5k damage. Um, shame we could have got some more maybe, but um, yeah, just is what it is. Uh, but we pick up four kills there and uh, didn't pick up any assist, but again, I think we end up picking the uh, picking up the first class medal along with the high caliber medal. So there we go, that is it for the uh, video. And yeah, the A and B T it's all right but i don't know i think it's a, it's it's a bit underwhelming to be honest i say i think it just it requires patience i think it requires a long drawn out game like i've explained um you know quick fire games it's going to be tough and i think you know bottom tier again it's it's going to be it's going to be an absolute struggle but you know you, like i say there's some maps and you know big sort of open maps where you could potentially make it work um i would definitely say it's a support tank get around the flanks definitely not a brawler um and always be aware of your your, your surroundings and, and make sure you've got sort of an escape route uh, or somewhere to sort of hide behind or support to you know cover you while you're on reload so uh so yeah anyway guys that is it for the video i hope you enjoyed it please like and subscribe to the channel if you did really does help it out and uh yeah i'll catch you next time